Hello everyone, it's Mish here. And today I thought we would um, just do a couple pages in uh, the Daphne's Diary uh, journal. Um, this is part two, uh, so if you want to see part one, um, I can try to link it in the description below. Uh, so we made the journal the first day and then we did our first page with a couple, um, a little uh, note, well I guess notebook a little thing but there's no pages and a tag um, so today I thought we would do um, another page um, let's pull this one out work on this one so we'll just set that aside for now so I was I've been tro uh, trolling through the magazines and I thought I would use that that's part of um, if I can find it here, a poster. I keep all my cuttings and stuff in here. And that was part of one of the posters. And I think it was issue three. There was a big, uh, this one here, there was a big poster. Um, and so what I did was I just cut a panel of the poster out so that I could use it um, as a background. So we'll get that tacked down. It might be just a little bit uh, too big, but um, that's okay, we can, we can cut it down. I'd rather it be a little bit uh, too big than you know, obviously too, too small. So we'll get this down. Start on. We'll start in the middle, uh, the uh, the inner edge. Try not to get my head in the way. And I'll go right out. So there. Okay. So we've got our background down. Um, I was debated whether I liked that little um, border, the little uh, light color border at the top. And I decided that no, I didn't really for this instance. So I just went and found um, just a, a border edge um, from one of the articles. Um, and I kind of liked that um, better than, than just having that plain. It really didn't matter, but I kind of liked it to have a little bit of a motif or, or print. So um, we'll get this down. How's everybody's week going this far? It's, uh, I've just finished my, just want to make sure does that looks straight. Yeah, that looks pretty straight. I just finished my, I'm doing the Marguerite Miller collage challenge as well. So I just finished doing that um, uh, week 27, I guess, uh, for that one. So I just finished doing my, I'll be uploading that soon. Okay, then we can turn that over and cut that off. And then I just kind of liked that better. Okay, so then um, in issue three as well there was a whole thing of butterflies and i think i sh i showed you um last uh part one because we use one of the butterflies for the the front page and it's a, oh i had to go out and buy a second magazine because as accidents do happen we all had them i didn't realize how sharp my knife was and when I was cutting out one of the images, it cut through about 10, 10 pages. So I was lucky that I could get another one um, at Michael's. And I was happy to get it because then I would have some extra sort of images and stuff. There are the butterflies and it was issue three. So I fussy cut um, a bunch of those. And what I thought we would do with them is we'd make kind of like a specimen slide that we could um, adhere to the page. I'm not sure if that's just overhanging. That's driving me crazy. So before we continue, I need to cut that off. 
Okay, so this is kind of my take on the specimen slide. I'm sure, it, you know, there's lots of people out there who who are making their own. You can buy them from Tim Holtz, these specimen slides. The issue though with me was that I needed it a certain size to fit the butterfly. So for this size here, I just cut out um, a sort of a rectangle uh, and it, it measures uh, three and a quarter, uh, three, and, three and three quarters by three and a half. And then, so I, I just cut that out and then on a scrap piece of paper, I just uh, made a template just to see um, for size and stuff. And so the size that works well is uh, three by uh, two and, and three eighths. And I just drew that, um, laid it down and spaced it, um, you know, try to get it evenly spaced on the left and right hand size. It's about three eighths and uh, the top and bottom is about uh, nine sixteenths. So that's just kind of one little slash past the half. Um, so once I cut it out uh, once, then I took my other one and I turned it backwards and I traced it on and then cut it out again so that they would match up. And um, so I rounded the corners, which you don't have to do if, if you don't want to, but I felt, you know, kind of like a specimen slide type thing. The corners are rounded. Um, so that's what I did to get the frame. And then I just took a bunch of random stamps um, that I had and just did a little bit of light stamping. So I stamped onto a stamp pad first to stamp off once and then did the second generation. And then I got my image. So with the image, how I, how I did mine is I had these self laminating um, little things, I think for business cards or IDs or something um, that I found once at the dollar store and I went back to find them again and I, I couldn't find them. But um, so this is what I used uh, for that one there. I just, and it, this fit perfectly. It was a little bit long that I just had to cut the end off, but I just put my Im image down. Um, they're double-sided images. Um, so I just put it down and then just gently uh, pulled the tab back. So if I have, if I can find, so I cut out some more images um, just to have because I think they'd be good for other other little projects. Um, so basically, I just opened it up. I made sure that there wasn't any big hunks of lint or something on it. And then I laid my image down and I am right-handed. So I kind of had the sticky side to the right. I tried to make sure there was an even amount on each side and up top and uh, top and bottom. Um, so that there was a little bit of a border that we could sandwich in between our frame. And then I held it down tight. I hold it down tight and just start this going. And with starting it going, I just, you're, you're not going to be able to see my hand, but I gently just start moving it um, and keeping the image firm. And then just slowly move it along. And this way, you work out any bubbles or air that might get in your underneath your slide. So that's how I kind of made the image for the little slide. Um, the other, if you didn't have those, you could also try with your self lam your self adhesive laminating sheets. You can get these at the dollar store, uh, and there's still some there now. Um, I'm sure you can get at Dollar Tree and other places. Um, so with this one here, you would just basically do the same. It's just a bigger sheet. Um, so, you know, you could use that. You could use a laminator, um, or you could use just a couple sheets of acetate. Um, and then saying that, oh no, that's just something on the slide. Um, yeah, so that's kind of how I did the, the, um, got the image sandwiched in there. Um, so for the hole, I just used my crocodile and I put an, an eyelet uh, in it. And then I then went and thought, well, how am I going to attach it to the page? So I thought what I would do is make, um, cut a, a circle with my um, one inch 
a hole punch, um, circle punch, and then put the eyelet in there. And then I will, we'll, you know, today we'll put that on the page like that. I meant to get some of my foam paint because I didn't want to put it right through the page um, as I wasn't sure kind of what was going to be on the other side. So I thought that I would just um, attach it with, with some uh, foam tape. We'll, we'll be fine. Um, it's not like it's going to have a lot of wear and tear. You will be able to see the foam tape, but um, I'm okay with that. So we'll, we'll get that down in, in a minute. Um, so the other thing um, with this poster was um, there was another butterfly. So I thought I would cut that out just to um, put down for background. And then um, I found this little piece of orange and I thought it would kind of help with the that little white space there at the bottom. I thought that would kind of look cute. So we'll get that down. Um, and then we'll put it all together. So slide that in there. Okay, so that's down and then we'll get that little butterfly down. In the top corner there. And like I said, I'm so loving this magazine. It's just it's just joy between the covers. Okay, actually I want to Move that over a little bit. All right. So with this, I kind of thought we would stick it. Um, just want to press down on this a second with just some deli paper, just to rub it, uh, just to make sure it's all adhered. All right. So I thought we would could put that there, and then. How I thought to attach it, oh, there was one thing I wanted to add. I went around the magazine, and each month they have a mindfulness section. So I thought, well, it would be kind of cute to um, put, put that down on the frame so we could have some mindfulness. And stick that down there. And then this is specimen number 12, 4,367, 4, number 12. And we could put more things around the frame um, if we wanted to. So that was just kind of a, a start there. And then I wanted to put it down with some of this wire that I use. It was in my bead. Uh, my bead box. I'm not exactly sure where I got it, but <clears throat> so if we just leave a little bit of that, and then, and I'm not being like fussy about it. I think if it looks a little bit rustic, um, then that will. I just don't want it to catch on another page, though. Then that will add to to the charm. Uh, uh, of it. So let's get our bobbin down. Actually, I'm going to take that up a little bit and I'm going to double layer that so that it stands up just a little bit. So we'll press that down tight and then I'm going to put it, it so it has a, a double layer of height. And then we'll just put a little bit of glue down. And maybe put that um, up in the corner. And with this uh, magazine, it doesn't really matter if there's a lot of dimension um, or this um, the journal because we've got room. So I'm just going to let that dry and then uh, we'll come back to that page um, in a minute. So then the, the second thing that I thought we would work on is I put an envelope in here. This is just one I had somewhere. And I thought about, well, let's decorate the envelope. Um, let's decorate the envelope. 
So in one of the sections, and I think it's in, it might be an issue three, I'm not sure, it might be an issue four, there's um, a drawing of Amsterdam, and it's a, a you fill it in, um, yeah, 24, there's a, that's probably not here, oh yes, it would be in this one, because I did such a hack job at cutting things up, so there's a double um, spa page spread on Amsterdam, so what I thought um, I would do is use that, so... I got some of the floral, floral pa paper that was in um, issue four at the back. There's a bunch of floral paper um, in, in this section. So I took, um, I got a piece of this and I want it to get that laid down. Um, so we'll, we'll get some bunch of glue onto that. And we would have fun kind of with the little houses. So, um, how did we want that to go? This way or that way? And that's the top, yeah, we'll go this way. So, we'll put this down kind of as a, as a background. Get that down nice and solid. And then with the little houses, I thought we could put the little houses down there so that it would look like that. And then we'll, um, I then cut out the word Amsterdam just, just for fun. And we'll, we can put that on there with some little clouds because we like clouds, and then with the Amsterdam, <clears throat> put the big clouds there, and then I wanted to put a little bit of foam tape on the back of this one, and have that a little bit uh, uh, dimensional. So we'll get some glue on the back of that. I'm not sure which is the best glue stick. If you guys have any um, recommendations, let me know. I don't, it's only been recently that I've been using a glue stick, but I think it works best in a journal um, of this, of this sort. So we'll get that down. With, with the houses there, I had to piece them together um, because that was right on the crease. So, um, so yeah, so just keep that in mind if you decide you want to do, do use both houses, but that, but that was fine. Okay. So we've got our houses down and then we'll get our little Amsterdam down. I, uh, I was fortunate enough to. Uh, to uh, visit a Amsterdam one uh, one year when I was living in the UK. We had uh, fun. We did a... Actually, we we were there during Pride. It just, just so happened. Uh, so it was very busy. And then... So there's one of our... One of our clouds and then we'll put this cloud down as we've got the dimensional and we'll just stick that up uh, maybe there so it's kind of like in front of the building the building is so tall or maybe a bit lower eh, I'm happy with that um, so we'll just cut that off okay and that's that's a page we've got semi done might come back to it and add something later so then for the flip side of that I um, there was um, because I tried I did the envelope there's an um, envelope there that you cut out and fold together these were some of the pieces that were kind of left from that so I thought well they might make an interesting 
uh, panel for the back side of the envelope with a little bit of ribbon and then we could do a little pocket uh, tuck spot. So I wanted to get uh, the green piece down first. Sorry, just out of the way. Uh, so there's the green piece. So there was a little bit of a gap um, and that's why I thought, well, we could use washi tape, um, but it just happened that I had some ribbon that was very close uh, in the color scheme. So I thought, oh, well, we could use we can use some ribbon. So we'll make that go right to the top. Press that down. Okay. And then we can put this. I was going to put that to the top and put the ri ribbon over, but because there's a notch there, I thought it would look re really cute to notch it over, over top. So I, um, I've put some... Uh, score tape on the back of the ribbon beforehand and then I'm just gonna try to get this down without making a pig's ear of it okay so there's our ribbon and then we'll get the ends cut off there uh, I don't want it to stick to anything Okay, except my pants. It can stick to my pants, all right. And then we'll get we'll get this side cut. And there. All right. So we'll just get the back side of this. Get that glued down. It just uh, a little while ago there was huge thunder and lightning, and then it just downpoured. Okay, so we'll line that up on our front and our back and get that down. Awesome. I just like to use this so my fingers don't don't stick uh, to it. Right, and then I wanted I found this strip um, again just just in one of the on um, one of the articles, and I wanted to add some ribbon to it, but I thought it would just make it look too short, so I just added it to a piece of cardstock, and then I'm just gonna put the put the card stop or the yeah and then just butt it up against the pattern uh, paper and then with this I just want I want to make a pocket so I'm only going to come down the sides and across the bottom like, like so and then we'll get that on there's our pocket piece And I, um, I have ordered some, some paper through Daphne's Diary, um, which paper pads, which haven't come yet. Um, and I wanted to then make um, a card. So I just went to some of my pattern paper. And, you know, funny, when I was putting the journal together um, for, with the cereal box, a couple of these, I ended up with two of these kind of tabs. So I, that same paper that I used on that side, I covered the tab and then I just made an insert that would go in there once I, actually I can trim that up later. Um, it's overhanging a little bit, but so we have a little journal card or, um, you know, what, whatever you want to use, use it for. We could put more stuff in the pocket, um, but this is a good start. So we'll let that dry and we'll come back to our, um, this page. And I think that's probably good and stuck down. So we can take our wire. And again, it doesn't have to be, I did it. The reason I did it like that is because then, you know, it's more interactive. You can flip it around. And I thought the wire would hold it a little bit 
more than just a, a piece of string. So let's pop that into our, back into our diary or our journal. And I'm not sure where I pulled it out, but it doesn't really matter because we can, the good thing about doing this kind of a journal is while you're working on it, you can move the pages around and when it's all finished, um, you know, you can sew, you can sew them down the middle and, and secure them better. But for now, um, yeah. And I think, I think that's, oh, I'm a little bit off. Sorry. I hope I haven't been off frame the whole time. Um, so there's our page number two and then our envelope will slot in here. Um, and that um, is our, uh, we did this today. And then the flip side is this. Uh, I haven't made any tags yet. We can work, work on that, but I did have um, a piece of this that was left over. So for now we can just put that in, in there just to remind us that um, it is a, a, a little tuck spot. Um, so yeah, so I'm trying to keep the videos a little bit sh uh, sh shorter as, um, I don't know, I've been told, I guess, that people prefer the shorter ones. Um, leave a comment for me if, you know, let me know what you prefer. And, and if you did like this, please hit the like button, give me a thumbs up, and I would love for you to subscribe. Um, and until next time, um, stay well, and uh, we'll see you for more pages. Bye for now.